see this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances for this a nigga with some counterfeits. What is up guys? Welcome back to the German Muscle channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on Turtle Wax Colorback Finish Restore. And I was actually referred this by a bunch of auto detailers. So this is what the bottle looks like. And they said that this is how the paint would look before and after. So if you guys look on the before, it looks really hazy and oxidized. And the after is really shiny. My opinion, they should have went with a different logo because the black and white picture just doesn't really do much justice. But if you go to the back, it says application, transform dull faded finish, removes oxidation watermarks and swirl marks while brightening the paint, protective wax barrier fights harmful sun rays and shields against harmful weather. So if you guys want to take a screenshot of that. and So um, in this video, I'm going to be seeing if it actually works the way it says on the back of it. And... Uh, we're going to put it to the test. So before I start this video off, I do want to say that I am not trying to put down any companies. If the product doesn't work, then I will let you guys know. I'll give you guys my honest opinion. Okay, so the directions say wash and dry car, shake well, apply on a cool, clean surface, and not in direct sunlight, apply in a small amount of product onto a foam applicator or a cloth spread entirely into surface one section at a time allow product to dry to a haze remove excess with a soft cloth and lightly buff so let's get started okay guys so before i start this video off i do want to go ahead and show you guys the paint so this is the hood and if you guys can see how oxidized the paint is right here especially in the middle the middle is really bad there's actually some sort of uh, paint defect right here. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but there is a lot of swirl marks. And this also says that it removes swirl marks while brightening the paint. So let's see if this actually works. Um, it did say start in small amounts. Um, so, if you guys can see this on camera, I'm actually gonna start with this little area right here. And this is cool. Uh, the sun just came out, but it's not really all that hot out today. Uh, it's about 30 something degrees. So we're going to go ahead and start with this area first and see if it actually uh, works. Alright guys, so it does say to shake well. It says apply to a soft cloth. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna be starting in this area right here. Um, if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna be doing this entire area right here. guys so it dried up and it's starting to haze over over here um, still needs to haze up over here a little bit more but right in here is where it actually is faded at and that's where it's uh, dried up the most and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but I can see that it still looks faded through the, uh, the product so I'm gonna go ahead and buff it off and see what happens after that Holy shit. Wow. Okay guys. So I don't normally cuss in my videos anymore. But check this out. Hopefully you guys can see in the beginning of the video where I should be going to out like this. Look at that now. This stuff actually works. So um if you guys have some really faded paint like this right here, this is the stuff you want to get. Thumbs up. 
So Turtle Wax, if you're watching this, I'd love a sponsor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the center of the hood and see if it actually gets the deep stuff out. All right guys, so I got the tripod set up on the hood. Um, it's not tall enough to sit up on the ground. So, got you propped up on the hood. I've used this stuff on this car before, especially on the hood, and it never worked. Um, I guess because I didn't read the instructions. So, make sure you always read the instructions of um, any type of applicant you guys are trying to use. So, hopefully you guys can see this on camera. I am going to be going in a, this is probably like a foot type of rectangle. buff it in all right so now I want to go ahead and let it haze over all right guys so it is pretty dried up and hazed over I just did another spot and it came out really shiny so I'm gonna go ahead and get this hopefully it gets the deep like burned up looking stuff out so here we go guys so as you guys can tell this stuff works so get you guys a closer look at it so there's still a lot of swirl marks in there but I'm not worried about that since I've owned this car I've tried everything that I possibly could to get the faded look out um, I've tried wet sanding it and buffing it still never worked so this stuff literally works so I'm gonna go ahead and do the entire hood on camera and then I'm gonna let everything dry over up to a haze and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. So, like I said, this stuff works. So, I think turtle wax is gonna be my new favorite uh, wax and color back and all that stuff that I use. I'm still gonna be using Meguiar's, but I think I'm gonna be using turtle wax a little bit more because this stuff actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and get the whole hood real quick and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. up real quick and I will turn the camera back on when I'm ready to wipe it off all right guys so I just had to change locations because people kept driving in front of me and messing up the shot so this is all dried up and hazed over I actually did a little bit more over here on the side you guys can see that over here and uh, I'll go ahead and buff this off real quick
All right, guys, so let's see what it looks like after I wiped it off. And as you guys can tell, there still is uh, swirl marks in there. That's actually from when I sanded it down. I did use a thousand all the way up to two thousand, and uh, those scratches should have been out. Anyways, um, right here and right here is where I did not. actually works one thing that I like about it is when I'm wiping it off I like how it doesn't spread over into the other stuff the only reason why I'm saying that is because I wanted to show you guys the before and after so um, I do I am going to be doing the entire hood um, over here needs to be done again I didn't put enough on over here um, it was just leftovers that was on the pad but uh, as you guys can tell, uh, it really does work in the bottle. So this is it guys. Um, it actually does work the way it says it does on the bottle. So um, I think Turtle Wax um, Color Back is what I'm going to be using on my hood from now on. It does say to repeat process um, a few times. So as you guys can tell, it's really shiny. And like I said, since I've owned this car, I've tried everything that I could to possibly get the fadedness look out. Um, like I said, I wet sanded it, didn't work. Um, I tried the Meguiar's compound and the polish, neither of those worked. I tried the, uh, the color pack before and it didn't work because I was actually buffing it in and then wiping it off. But I got too lazy and didn't want to read the instructions. So guys, read the instructions, and uh, I could have had this done months ago, but I just never read the back of the uh, label. So um, you pretty much just buff it on, let it haze over, and buff it off, and you guys will have a brand new looking hood. I was actually thinking about taking this hood off and taking it to my cousin and having him repaint the entire hood because it was just really faded but i saved it myself and this bottle was only three dollars and 95 cents i got this at a place called Oli's, uh a few towns over from here and uh it's in wilmington ohio uh if you guys live in ohio then it's in wilmington you guys can get it um but this stuff works great so i am going to finish up the entire hood off camera don't forget to like comment and hit that subscribe button because I just saved you guys some uh, paint work. Peace. Like a boss, like to get on my channel. Give your life to be a solidified. This motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets. So what good is a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo?